Sheehan behind him. So the, these are the uh, top A class cars um, running uh, 265 brake horsepower per ton. Um, so they're fairly quick and uh, this is a standing start. Uh, so in the Thunder races that we're also doing this weekend, um, it's a rolling start. So a little bit different, but you know, traditional standing start here for the race uh, means we can actually warm up our tyres a bit and get some heat into the brakes. What didn't help was um, uh, being rather silly and locking a brake uh, just now. But there we go, can't be helped. So we line up here, second on the grid. Not quite sure why they uh, have second on the inside into. Uh, term one, but I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining. Um, so yeah, uh, it's been a very busy weekend. Um, some of that is entirely my fault because I, uh, in the last race, ran into uh, Craig Owen um, uh, as I was passing him. Uh, so sorry about that, Craig. Um, and uh, ended up with a broken wheel, so uh, I had to go and get that uh, sorted. Um, and yeah, it's generally been eventful. Uh, also, big thanks to uh, Dom at uh, Mardi Gras Motorsport for sorting me out a throttle position sensor at very short notice. Right. What the hell happened there? Just could not see. Your pressure. I don't know why I've got a few pressing warning. Let's not drive into a wedge. I could not see the lights there at all. Those on this curve look so cool. Oh, the 
bit bloody stupid. Hope I still got a front splitter. Not sure I have. Oh, that was annoying. Got a lot of vibration. that incident earlier on they were trying to go three wide and Brian Branson moved back across didn't realize Jason West was there and sent him over the grass that could have had much worse consequences if they collided that would have been a hard impact good save Jason West Oh, 
Hopefully didn't feel oh. under on the power there. Came off a big way. Uh, let's not try an overtake there with the back mark on the outside. Okay, let's try this again. Right? 
rally driving that. Working. Try and see a replay of what happened there in the background. It looks like uh, there was contact possibly between Brian Bransom and that's what caused the damage to the rear wing. So there may not have been initial contact. There we see the rear wing come off Bransom's car. It's because he clipped Jason West's car as he tried to avoid it. So maybe that's what uh, the contact was. You can see there the damage to Branson's rear wing. It's sagging in the middle now. See it again here. Yes, there was contact on the way in. Branson had a dive down the inside. It didn't work. He hit the back of Jason West and then they made contact again as Branson tried to get round the outside. So two instances of contact there. And Jason West is back to square one. And his bumper trailing as well. If that doesn't come off, he might get the black and orange flag for that meatball flag as it's known the black with orange disc that means mechanical problem or technical problem call into the pits like a puncture. Ah, oh, the rear wing is broken. That's why. Yeah, rear wing is broken. Staying on. Right, get black and white flag. Possibly. So near the end now. Okay, 
the last lap. Let's finish this lap. win of the season with the Kumho BMW Championship by a clear margin as everybody else was uh, rather tripping over each other behind him. Second place will go to Michael Vitulli. Brad Sheehan will come home in third. Then Russell Dack in fourth. Ryan Branson should make it home in fifth position. He does. And doubtlessly uh, rather aggrieved of Jason West. Here he comes. Look at the state of the rear of his car. Bumper's gone. Rear wing's hanging off from that contact earlier on as he spun. I'm not sure we will. Car just about hanging together to the finish. He'll come home in sixth place. Oh, dear me. He and Chris with the uh, last man on the lead lap. He comes in seventh, close there between Jasper Sapra and uh, Ronan Bradley. Sapra just got the place there by 0.18 of a second. That was for, was that for a class win? No, it wasn't. Kevin Denwood in eighth place ahead of them. And Sapra ninth, Bradley tenth. And Zach Blackwell wins the BMW Mini class. So, a uh, bit of a race of attrition there, the uh, first race of the season for the Kumho BMW Championship. Jason West giving us a wave from his BMW E46 M3 Superleggera. It's James Card with a dominant victory in the first race of the season. Well done, James. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, thank you. That is a very sorry looking car. I will be very interested to see the video. <laughs> <laughs> 